getting excited about this or at the very least opening that door and realizing that there is a lot of really exciting stuff out there is very valuable for your studying because it injects that enthusiasm and that sense of purpose. Even if it's a case of, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing, but I know that I'm going to look around for something that really excites me. I'm going to look around for something that really excites me. So I'm going to get enthusiastic and I'm now enthusiastic about the stuff that I'm studying today because I'm going to use this to create the life that I want. Whatever that may look like. For some of us, you know, that's climbing the corporate ladder, going, you know, to work maybe for a big company and just, you know, continually being promoted and climbing up the corporate ladder until you're CFO or CEO. Maybe that's what really excites you. Maybe it doesn't. Teaching may really excite you. Writing may really excite you. So what are your options? Running a business. You don't have to run an accounting practice. You know, we're kind of like, we're limited to what we're exposed to. Oh, well, if I'm an accountant, I'm either going to have to work in another corporate environment or, you know, the only business that I can really run is an accounting practice or, you know, tax practice. No, you can, you can do whatever. Explore what's out there. Explore industries, explore stuff. The only person who's responsible for you getting excited about what you're doing is you because you're the only person who cares. And you're the only person who's able to look at something and go, ooh, that's exciting. I like the idea of that. And that's only going to happen if you step forward and start looking around. I want you to be excited. So many students I speak to are so lost in the stress of the next exam, even though it's six months away. And they're just like trawling through life, you know, one step after that day, after day, I hate everything. All I'm doing is studying. Understandably, because the room that you're in, everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's stressed out. You're all working towards the same thing. And it's a grind. And it's year after year after year. So yes, if you're stuck in the same room with the same people doing the same things and you feel like you're not progressing and sometimes you're not progressing, obviously it's going to feel really stuffy. <laughs> You know, the air gets a little stuffy, it gets a little claustrophobic, and there you are going, this is my life. This is my life. No, open the door, break out the window. There's a huge world out there, and maybe you have to stay in this room for a few more years to get the skills, the qualification, or whatever the case is, but it's really exciting to be able to look outside that door and go, hmm, that's interesting. I wonder. I could, mm, I could see myself doing that. And maybe the first couple of things you look at is like, you know, it's not necessarily that exciting for you, but what you're doing is you're building a habit of looking and exploring out there. Go and search recruitment, go and search recruitment sites for different, you know, for different positions. Go and Google, uh, you know, ways to make money online. I know it's completely stupid, but the point is that it exposes you to people who are making money and people who are successful doing things that are completely outside of your room. You know, your room being the professional qualification journey you're on and everybody doing the same thing and the way you, where you work and, and where you study, it's all one room, right? Look outside the room. You know, a lot of people that I know, qualified accountants, are still fairly surprised and not entirely sure how, I, how I'm able to work from anywhere in the world. Because you know, after COVID, it's a little bit easier. We understand remote working a little bit better. But I was, working, you know, I was working remotely way before COVID. Which means you know, that whenever we traveled, I could still work. So I'm not bound to an office. I don't have to work around, I can only travel, or I can only go somewhere when we have leave uh, because then I can't work. No, we can just pack up and go. As long as I have my laptop, I can work anywhere I want. So, you know, so much of the work that I do has been in, you know, in coffee shops, restaurants, beach bars in Italy and the UK and, you know, here where I live in Montenegro. I do a lot of my work from coffee shops. In summer, we're out on the beach and I do a lot of my work from beach bars. Do, you know, I work, answer queries, set up stuff, you know, do stuff, do writing, do whatever, and then, you know, spend, take a break, go swim in the sea, drive, come back and carry on working. <laughs> That's what I do. That's my life. 
it's fantastic. That, that excites me. That makes me happy. And I can do that. I'm able to do that. It's not the classic kind of accounting thing. And I don't run an accounting practice, you know. So, yeah, it's exciting. The world out there is exciting. I want you to open that door because that may be that excitement, that enthusiasm, that energy will help you with your studies when you're sitting and looking and go, oh, I'm doing this again. Especially if you're repeating the, oh, I'm doing this again. Yeah, but there's a purpose. And you know what? What you're going to be doing may not even exist at the moment. I don't know. You don't know. But the world out there is much more exciting than working in corporate or owning an accounting practice. I don't, I'm massively oversimplifying. And, I, and there's, you know, there's a huge amount of career opportunities you know, within the finance and accounting field, etc. That, and that's fine. All I'm, all I'm saying is I want you to explore that. If you're interested in the banking sector, go and explore that. Go and find people to talk to. Go and think about what excites you and energizes you and go and look for that. And you have to spend time looking for that because nobody's going to put it on your doorstep because everybody else is interested in their stuff. Take half an hour out of your social media time, your Instagram, you know, Facebook, whatever, our escapism, we all do that. We all have some escapism. Just take half an hour out of that and go and Google professions that didn't exist 10 years ago. Weird ways people make money. You know? I don't know. Whatever. Weird ways people make money. Just to kind of open that door and go, what are other people doing out there? Like, what are people doing out there? Um, does that excite me? Is that something I could do? Is that something I, I might want to do? Um, no, that's not actually it, but oh, that's exciting. Ooh, no, no, no. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But the point is to expose yourself to stuff. I want you to get excited. I want you to be excited. You have no idea what you're going to be doing with your career. And the reality is most of us find that uncertainty stressful. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with my life, Yvonne, and so therefore and this might not be worth it. And I don't know if it's going to be a good thing. And everybody else seems to know what they're going to be doing. And I don't know, so maybe I shouldn't be doing it. No rubbish. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever you have done, these are Lego blocks that you are going to leverage off of. And everything you do, every day, everything you study, every topic you go through, whether you pass that exam or not, is another little Lego block in your life. And the idea is just gather and collect those Lego blocks. And one of them may be over there, one of them may be over there, one of them may be over there, one of them may be over there. And you're just like, you're just putting them together because you don't know what picture you're going to create one day. And that's exciting. But the more Lego blocks you have, the better. And I'm not talking about collecting qualifications for the sake of it, right? I'm not talking about qualifications. I'm not talking about studying. I'm talking about life and skills and explorations. Some people may need more than one qualification and some people may not need any qualification. I'm not talking about collecting studies in the hopes that, you know, the more pieces of paper I have, the more successful I'm going to be. That's not what I'm talking about. That may be something you want to do. I don't know. We have a tendency to think that unless we're climbing that corporate ladder, very, you know, a very linear corporate ladder, then whatever we're doing is not worthwhile. No, you're just collecting Lego blocks. And everything you expose yourself to, everything you look at is like, hmm, that's an interesting thing. Do I want that or don't I want that? Do I like that or don't I? You know, I don't actually like doing that. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm, okay, put that in. And you learn more about yourself and you learn more about the world around you. I want you to open that door. I want you to get out of the room because sometimes the room can be very heavy. Everybody is depressed. Everybody's obsessed about their studying. Everybody's anxious. Everybody's worried. Everybody's doing the same thing. Get out the room. Even if it's just one afternoon, one evening, a week, get out the room so that you can breathe, so you can find something that energizes you, which gives you the energy to come back into the room and do what you need to do. Get excited because it is exciting, but it's only as exciting as you make it. And you have to make it. It's an active thing, not passive. The likelihood of someone else dropping something really exciting on your doorstep is very slim. Get excited.